Everybody's gonna tell you that your first day is gonna be nerve wracking, but it's not real until you get there. My senior resident came up to me and he told me, it's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> We're not alone. And that was like a very meaningful moment for me. Uh, it's like a family here. We all look out for each other. My name is Dr. Suzanne El Sayeg. I am the program director for the Internal Medicine Residency Training Program at Staten Island University Hospital. This is a tertiary care center. It's a community hospital. We recruit every year 53 new interns. We offer them a very dedicated faculty with high level of expertise in their field. What makes Staten Island University Hospital a special place to train is that you're really going to get a really good patient population. There's a vastly diverse patient population here. You are going to actually see the whole gamut. We do have a very affluent population, but we actually do have a very large underprivileged and underserved population here. That makes for a very rich resident experience. Here, as a resident, you, you do a lot of procedures. It's a wide variety, and you, you feel like you're learning a lot every day. Staten Island University Hospital has two campuses, north side, south side. Between north and south, we have around 700 beds. The residents have an inpatient and an outpatient rotation. A very busy emergency room, very busy intensive care units, cardiac care units. So I think it really pushes your knowledge base forward. We have interventional radiology, cardiology, neurology, neurosurgery. You get to try a little bit of everything and see what suits your personality and suits your interests. You also get to do electives and away rotations to find out where exactly your interests lie. What's great about the internal medicine residency at Staten Island University Hospital is the amount of support we get. It really focuses on resident learning and resident support in the context of patient care. I think that they integrate all of that very well. And I think that that's really important in kind of comparison to some of these other big programs where you can get lost. It's always people around to help you if you have questions. You never feel alone here. But at the same time, this program also gives you a lot of autonomy. In your first year here, you see your own admissions in the emergency room. So you see that patient, you assess them, you come up with the plan, and you make the decisions. The culture in the internal medicine department here is great. You know, they make you feel like these are your patients. The culture is always teaching first, and that's incredibly important. Staten Island University Hospital has a very robust mentoring program inside their internal medicine department. We are assigned a mentor from the beginning of the year. They have someone looking after them. They have someone that listens to them. They're really enthusiastic, and very often these are very busy people with their own practices, but they really take time out of their day to meet with residents and to give good advice and kind of demonstrate paths forward. But in addition to that, there's also many informal mentoring opportunities. And if you find somebody who has interests similar to yours, you can ask them, do you mind if I get involved in a research project? Can I follow you, shadow you, and see what you do? And I find that the people here are extremely receptive and open to that kind of thing. And so you can get your name on projects, which I think is a big strength of this program. It was very apparent that academics was highly prioritized in this program. We have a very strong curriculum that includes conferences on a daily basis, a morning report, a noon lecture, a journal club. We offer them a lot of research opportunities with a research mentor at the Feinstein Institute. Being part of the Northwell system, we have access to data that we can pull together, especially if you want to do research with a, you know, a larger um, number of people. If you're interested in research, this is hands down the best place to be because the, the access to patient data is just enormous. The opportunities are there. If you have an idea, there's an entire department of research for the Department of Medicine. If you want to go into fellowship, that's available here. If you want to go into primary care, you can do this here as well. I think Staten Island University Hospital really focuses on work-life balance. They do a lot here at the hospital for the residents. Their well-being is uh, on the top of our priority list. But on top of that, we have a lot of extracurricular activities. We're all about hanging out. 
It's really important to know where are you going to be living for the next three years? Like, what is your life going to be like outside of the hospital? And that's all part of the well-being. I'm able to live in the city, um, which is great. It's 20 minutes here in the morning. I live in Staten Island. I'm actually only five minutes away from the hospital, but I also have New York City in my backyard. You can just take the ferry and go over to the city when you want. I live in Brooklyn, and I have access to everything on the island, including the hospital and the great places to eat around here. There's a Mediterranean place that's wonderful that I highly recommend that's not too far away, and if you come here to visit, uh, just ask anybody and they'll know what it is. Our commitment to our resident is not only a three-year commitment, it's way beyond that. Our program director is heavily invested in our learning. I treat them like colleagues. Dr. Al Sayeg, um, I know a lot of other residents at other places that don't have the you know, kind of relationship that we do with her. She really cares about helping us succeed and go forward in our careers. She was very inspiring to me. Even though that this is a large program, I feel like there's a strong sense of community here. Our culture here is very vibrant. If I had to give it in one word, I would say camaraderie. Here we have residents that are from all over the world. Getting to know people from different countries and different backgrounds was incredible too. Every program is going to provide you training. You can get that hopefully at any program, any kind of residency that's, you know, accredited. But in what you're looking to do as a doctor and what you're looking to become, I think it's really important that you choose a program that is non-toxic. This is a program that is really structured around the residents and around learning the best patient care. They treat you like future doctors. You really feel like you're making a difference here. We're also located in the best city in the, in, in the United States, so we have everything. Every year I have 6,500 applicants applying to the 53 positions that we have. So it's extremely competitive to get into this program. If you're willing to just join us and be a part of this journey and getting to know uh, all of us here, it's, it's a good thing.